Okay guys, today I'm going to revise with you kinetic energy and how you calculate kinetic energy of an object once you know the mass of the object and the velocity of the object. Now this is the formula that we're going to look at. So Ke is the kinetic energy times, uh, sorry, which is equal to a half times m now M is the mass and it needs to be in kilograms so if you're given grams you need to divide by a thousand to get it into kilograms and V is velocity which should be in meters per second and finally we've got this squared term which means basically we're, we're timesing velocity twice so really, if I just expand the equation, we've got a half times by m times by v times by v. So here's a very simple example where we're asked to find the kinetic energy of the car. Well, we need to know two things. We need to know the velocity. And the velocity of this car is 25 meters per second. And its mass... Well, that's 3,000 kilograms. So we're going to apply our equation, and our kinetic energy equation is half mv squared. So here we have v, and here we have our mass. So let's put that into our formula. So we're going to do a half times by m, which is 3,000 times by our velocity squared, so 25, and then times by 25 again. And that gives us a value of 937,500 joules. And remember, kinetic energy, it is a type of energy, so the units are going to be in joules.